Hey, Orange One here. So we're here with uh, our friend, the Short Circuit Samurai. The overtax power system, yeah, and occasional discharges. Okay, so this is going to be our friend in combat here. Uh, we're going to be basically just taking out like things that are extremely concerning, like uh, acidic zombies. I think that it can take out a wrestler. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if how much help it's gonna really need. I and mean, it's already actually kind of banged up. Yeah, I think that it's a lot less helpful than the um, Minotaur that we've been walking around with. Just immediately, I can kind of see that. I mean, it's kind of holding its own against that wrestler. But it's not doing a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. I'm gonna just back up then a little bit. And, I mean, it is it is killing the wrestler. So I shouldn't be, you know, talking too much smack. So I will kill this thing. Just want to be a little bit careful. Actually, it looks like it's killed the wrestler, just about. Okay, cool. Good job, sir. Short Circuit Samurai. You're not completely useless. Though you are kind of hurt. Which is a shame. I don't think that like regular zombies are going to really be able to get through your armor very well. Yeah, that has that zombie. I think this is going to be a good, like, if I had a ton of these, they would probably be pretty good against the zombies. Oh, you impaled the torso? Okay. Weird. And the nice thing about this thing is that it also can be repaired. So I, I can just take it right now and like deactivate it and then go repair it, you know? And be like, all right, we're taking this back to the car and I'm gonna just do some repair work on it. Sorry, I'm just gonna do, I know that heartbeat is so annoying, but trust me, Oop, that was weird. I don't think I selected that button, but like moved like I did. Um, okay, let's see. Where's the welder at? Maybe I should just bring the welder with us. Yeah, let's get the welder. Oh, we're gonna need to um, clear out some stuff. I mean, I don't really need to be carrying that around. Um, I'll also probably leave the flashlight, right? And, I mean, I kind of would like to carry that around, if I'm honest. Okay, we're still not able to carry it. Uh, can I put on, like, a backpack or something? Yeah, let's get that molly pack. Thank you. And then I'll reload... Oh! Um, I did not reload that. Can I reload it? I don't have any. Oh, it's trace arounds. I see. Okay. Let's reload that back with those uh, trace arounds then. We'll just use that first. And then could I. Yeah. Reload that. Sure. Um, how much do I need? Scrap metal. I need 25. I can find 25 scrap metal. Um, what's with the crowd, though? I'm gonna take, keep my distance from you, Samurai, please. Okay, there's, yeah, there's a sizable group that's right there. I mean, I think that we can clear them out and then find some scrap metal to fix them up. Why did all my body parts get damaged? That's kind of weird. Yeah, just take care of them, Samurai. And I'm just gonna draw my gun. Just because it's, it's a good idea to have your gun ready, you know? So yeah, we'll, we'll try and use the... <clears throat> pardon me. This Short Circuit Samurai. Oh, there's an atomic energy drink. That's gross. 
Oh, there's a zombie hulk here. I should probably take care of that. Oh. Did I just get shocked or... No, I don't think I did. I might have. Sorry, I'm just deactivating you for a little bit. Um, just so I can look at the corpses. Yeah, I knew that there was going to be a bunch of corpses around here somewhere. Um, what is that that's coming towards me? It's a smoker. Um, can I activate that? Too big to pick up? No, it's not. Oh. Can I place you there and then just, like, back up? And you should be able to kill the smoker. Yeah, nice. You actually killed them super quick. Single pot, still Irish whiskey. Man, there's all this, like... Nice alcohol that's just like on the floor here. Um, and our short circuit samurai is pretty much dead. Come here, buddy. I don't want you to get busted. Yeah, we'll 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 turn you off for now. I'll come back for you. Probably. Oh look, there's a little battery power there. Sure, I'll have I'll have a little snack. Or right, just want to make sure that. Our battery system is fully powered. Well, I mean, it's pretty definitive that our short circuit samurai is not really worth using, in my opinion. I and mean, I could look at some other uh, robots, and I think there's actually some pretty good ones um, that we could use. But I don't think the short circuit samurai is really worth keeping. Oh, you just ripped my pack. Yeah, I mean, we can leave the short circuit. But I, I really don't see why I would want to. I mean, it, it like hurts me more, like almost as much as it hurts the enemy, you know? So I'm not sure if it's really worth it. You know, I've been trying to think about what I want to do with Nosh, and I am open to suggestions. Uh, because I feel like the last few episodes I've just been killing zombies. And, like, it's just been kind of, like, mindless. Um, oh, I also need to check out that mine. Speaking of mindless. We could go do that. I kind of want to go do that. Let's go do that. Let's go look at the mine and see what's what's there. It's kind of like, why am I fighting through this area and I haven't really even been able to get in to this area? Um, I wanted to be able to like kind of cut through, but we've already kind of cleared out this road, so this could be like our cross path. I did want to get to this library. I keep on not going there. And there was also like, there was something underground, like... Somewhere around here. Please don't. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> oh man. Let's go to the mine. We'll check out the mine. I really do also want to do some more underground special locations. And so it's kind of like... Um, there's a couple ways we could go about that. We could explore the map more looking for things. Which um, I'd be happy to do. And I kind of want to do that here anyways. Because it's kind of like, what is that so close to us? And then there was also some activity under that city, which I'm pretty sure was a lab. But now when I, I actually watched a little bit of that episode myself, I think it might have just been the basement. I'm not sure. It's worth checking. It's at least worth checking, you know. Oh, some pocket deer. If I was still trying to get stomachs, then I'd be hunting them. But I think that we're doing pretty good. Off the mutation tree for our friend here. The one other nice thing that I cannot... I cannot... Um, everyone always like seems to forget about it. Fields have a very small chance of spawning like power armor. And other military drops. It's like very, very rare. But you do see random boxes of like military gear just out in a field. And so you can get legit, like, one of the best items in the game.
just in a field. Not to mention artifacts, man. Artifacts spawn in fields. They're like seriously one of the best spawn locations. Um, it's just that really good stuff doesn't show up very often, if that makes sense. Um, oh yeah, I remember this. The now I remember why we weren't um, so gung ho about taking this place. There's all those zombies. There's uh, or uh, ants. There's like tons of ants around here. So if I wanna if I wanna go into the mine, I'm gonna have to most likely kill some ants. You know, it's just get a little glimpse of what we're dealing with and the corrosive and the other zombies i think are gonna get killed by the ants i just kind of need to hang out around here and i mean it would be also nice to not have that ant queen um flame us i'm just gonna try and ram them I don't know if we killed it or not. Let's just take another another gander at what we got. Um, yeah, the young ant queen is still there. And she's kind of hurt though. Kind of got thrown around a little bit. Um, can I just, at the very least, we can kind of control our access to the mine so that like we don't get interrupted by the ants you know like we could do a little something like this I like what we did that one time also how are you doing here just wanted to check up on you he's doing fine I'm not gonna change those those bandages out all right let's see bypass security yes Um, yep. Okay, cool. So the elevator has been activated. Yes. I would like to use those controls. Hold on. It might be a good idea to have a flashlight. <laughs> I just got rid of our flashlight, and then we immediately needed it. Of course. We do not need a flashbang. Um, let's reload that though, because that's pretty low. Yeah, let's see what we got in this this mine. I mean, I know it's probably nothing. Oh, there's ants in here? Great. Let's get our sword out. Unless there's a queen. I think that I'll just 1v1 you guys. This is a little cog mind strategy that I'm using here. You know, I wasn't aware, but Ruth Rogue likes like that positioning of getting that one versus two being able to hit you at the same time is very important. Why am I getting so hurt? I think it's my inflammation. Yeah, I think that I've been doing a lot of fighting recently, and so I'm gonna get random damage like that. We also have irradiation. That's also gonna be a problem for us. Um, yeah, the mines do normally look like this, but I do anticipate the ants have affected things. There's also like like an upstairs little like thing that was around to the side. What is that? Is that like an? Oh, it's a dark worm. I I remember those things. They're pretty cool. They just basically burrow through the walls. Yeah, it looks like the ants, though, are not anything that I need to be too concerned with. Oh, look, there's so much coal here. Okay, well, we're not going to need to make any more charcoal. You know? Use some rock so salt and limestone. You know, I was I was talking to my wife, she was telling me about how maize is made with like alkaline uh, stuff. Oh, I wonder what's underneath that wreckage. Like alkaline water, and that's like what makes it nutritious and for you to be able to access those nutrients. 
Oh man, that magma tile looks very different than what I remember. And apparently, like, people used to use limestone to make it, like, basic for the cooking. Okay, yeah, we're fine. We're totally fine right now. What I'm interested to see is what's in the finale of this place. Mines can be pretty crazy finale-wise. Um, is this the spiral that has stuff inside of it? Yeah. Okay, it's just got a flashlight. It looks like the ASCII symbol for, like, a person. This is a lot of toxic gas, man. I don't have, like, a lot of charge in my gas mask either. Uh, there is the downstairs right there. Okay, cool. That is um, really annoying, though. We're gonna need to be careful because we're actually kind of low. I mean, a gas mask without a filter, does that give you any protection? I would imagine it doesn't. Uh, what is shooting? It's not a turret, you know. Oh, there's a backpack. Sure, I'll take that. Um, because there's something shooting, we're gonna get our gun out. Is that... What is that? A petrified eye. Oh, that's like the one relic, right? You use that to open up um, other stuff. There's a dark pedestal. There's something getting shot off to the side there, but I think that the mine here, that's like the finale for the mine, I'm pretty sure. My body aches, whatever. I'm okay with my body aching. I, what I'm not okay with is breathing in a ton of toxic gas. So if I could get out of this, ASAP. Cool. I think that we're good. And you know what's awesome is that um, we can also use the coal here to make the um, little filters that you need. Um, just a little fun fact. It's actually incredibly easy to make an air filter. And it's one of those things that's like, wait, why are we not doing this actually like at home? There's all these people with like COVID masks that the air that they're breathing through is not being really cleansed as much as it nearly could be. And there's people with like cloth masks and it's like, dude, just put some activated charcoal in there. Like seriously, you just need a little bit of activated charcoal and it's like a hundred times better. And it's not hard to do. Basically to make ac activated charcoal the cheapest way possible is um, from my understanding is Oh no, it looks like we're not going to get a ton of coal. It was just that one spot. Oh, the dark worms. They, they didn't get to do their job. And there's a good chunk. I don't think we really need more. Can I look for more? Any more coal? No. No more coal. Okay. Yeah, basically to make activated charcoal, you just... Um, first of all, well, you need charcoal. And then you... Uh, smash it up so it's like a fine powder and um, I think you need to put salt on it um, just about anything that dehydrates it even further is what you want because you want every single last bit of um, water out of it is my understanding and I could be wrong as well this is like something that I read online like I don't know fully how to do this Um, yes, like that. Sure, sounds good to me. I also don't really need that or that. Um, but like people recommend using not table salt. There's like, um, other stuff that's a little bit better than table salt, but you can totally use table salt and it's totally fine. And like everyone has it, you know? And so you basically just grind it up, dehydrate it with the salt because I'll pull the water out a little bit. And that just makes more surface area for things to uh, bind to it. And like the thing about charcoal is that it um, it is charged. I think it's it's kind of like clay. I think clay has a negative charge. I can't remember what they were saying like the charcoal, but it has charged uh, parts to it that ions can attach to. 
It's all about just making as much surface area as possible for ions to attach to it. But then, of course, eventually those ions are going to run out. Is there a moose? Did I see a moose here? There is totally a moose here. Well, if I'm looking for a moose, I mean, there's the pocket deer and the moose. So if I needed more large stomachs for whatever reason, that's where I would go. Yeah, but it just is kind of weird that like everyone's like, you know, knitting their, themselves a mask. But then it's like, dude, if you really want to take particles, including the dust particles that like the virus would be on, like you really want to have activated charcoal. Or like an N95 mask, which is, it doesn't use activated charcoal, but it uses a lot of the same principles of like grabbing ions out of the air and having a ton of like little layers. Uh, what's this? Did I do that? No, this isn't. This must have been like a, a zombie that I killed and they had all this amazing military gear. So it looks like I vaguely remember that. Um, oh, what's this? There's a pneumatic bolt driver there. <laughs> I remember losing that. I mean, vaguely I remember losing that. Can I just get that? I mean, there's no point in leaving that out. That is actually a half-decent weapon I could give to an NPC. I just realized that I haven't used a pneumatic bolt driver in forever with this character. Like, I seriously can't even remember it. When when that was. Like, what number was that? What number am I even on right now? That's the other question that I can't answer. But if I'm looking here... I just kind of want to show you how far we can get in from this side before we start running into zombos. Um, it's, it's, you know, we can get into the city. We just can't get very far into it. And let me know if you guys want to see me do something else, because I, I am open to, um, oh, there's a Beretta in there. I always forget to check these guys. It's just like that pistol. I'll take it though. I'll use it on some random zombie that we come across. Watch. What's this food here? Yeah, I have a little little snack there. I know my NPC. He's carrying around his little snack pack, which is nice. He actually hasn't bothered me in like forever. Like I I cannot remember the last time he he was bothering me. Um, actually, speaking of which, can I just talk to you and see what's going on with his needs? Yeah, he's he's totally fine. Normal weight. They are in a lot of pain, though. I wonder if that's because we're inside of a built inside of a car and they're like hitting their head or something. How are we doing against you now? One more. Okay, not one more. Yeah, take that. Okay, well, there goes that pistol. <laughs> Unless this is for it, which it might be. Um, yeah, there's, you know, not really zombies at this point. What we end up getting is, like, I think it's more, like, around the cemetery. Is a military vehicle there? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we should fight our way towards that, huh? Oh, look, there's, there's other solar right here as well. I mean, I don't need any solar panels is the thing, but we could but make a little solar panel like vehicle back at our base. Yeah, but look here, we've got Kevlar Hulk, all kinds of nasty zombies right here. Yeah, we didn't even get to the cemetery. Let's see if I can, I, I wanna shoot that corrosive one, and I don't want our friend to really be getting into the fight right now, yeah. No, those are not the ones that I want. Where's the corrosive zombie? There you are. 
the sh uh, I didn't actually hit the corrosive zombie. Yeah, it's, that's kill it, please. Yeah, there we go. And now all of those guys are coming over here. Now let's take one more shot. Sure. And now we got a party coming our way. Why don't we just get out of here? Just, you know, pull them back a little bit. Unfortunately, they are going to kind of bang up that solar car. I think that this is probably the easiest easiest way of clearing them out is just kind of falling back a little bit after that shot. I mean, there are going to be more of them coming. I do need to keep that in mind. But we can also gene a few of them, I think. Where are you? Not actually coming this way. Anyone see me? Nope. Okay, that creepy crawler I keep on swearing is, has seen me. They haven't. Oh no, it's the ankle biter. Yeah, come here, kiddos. Um, why don't we drop the backpack, right? We don't really need that. There we go. Oh, also I should be getting my focus. I'm keeping my focus up, right? Um, how would I do that? Is there anything... Tasty that I could have. I mean, we've actually been... Oh, we should probably light a little fire. Probably not a half bad idea. Oh gosh, there's a school nearby. There was a book in grad school that I read that was like, there's a fire in the bathroom or something like that. <laughs> Just reminded me of that. And we could light like this house on fire that's on the corner here. And the zombies would actually probably go for it. Might actually help us clear out this place. Why don't we do that? Let's just start a little fire here. Yep. That should do the trick in a little while. Kinda wanna stay in the reality bubble so I can see it go down. But that's um let's maybe play a little game. We're gonna do Robot Finds Kitten because YOLO. Man, that I don't know, you, it's probably been a while since I uploaded that Recky, that little puzzle game. But that was like, seriously, like a really cool little puzzle game. I want to now try Baba is You because it, it feels like it's similar in terms of it just being like a very creative, different, like, I wouldn't say disorienting. Yeah, no, it, it yeah, disorienting is, I would say, accurate. Uh, style of game where it's just like you're just trying to figure out the rules and it's just so abstract you know and so just trying to find the rules in of itself is a game uh anything that i could get some joy from yeah let's have some toastums yeah, well, i have a couple toastums um Uh, let's, yeah, let's have a little V8. Our character needs the health. And then I, yeah. <laughs> We're just talking about being healthy. <laughs> oh, man. Don't do drugs, kids. I love that this game, you can have, like, a cigar and be, like, smoking a cigar. And, like, shooting zombies, you know? Okay, yeah, they're going towards the crashing, burning down house. Thank you, zombies. Go do exactly what I want you to do. If I look at the house, can I see you? Yeah. The whole side of the house is, is coming down. Smash, smash, crash. Um, what have we got out here? Kevlar Hulk. Are you going to... Actually, the Kevlar Hulk is the one that I would like to not go in there. Oh, he spotted me and then kind of like turned around. Yeah, come here. Uh, sure, let's get the gun out. This guy can drop some really nice gear. Like, seriously, it's like crazy good. I'll just smoke my cigar. Don't, don't mind me. 
Oh, actually, hold on. I keep on forgetting. Oh, we also need to do the air filter in our gas mask. God, there's so much to keep track of in this game. Okay, um, go ahead. You can take that out. Uh, stop smashing. Sure. I think we can take out the child. Yep. Okay, cool. And we're still smoking our cigar. Are, are we? Yeah, we are. We're still kind of also irradiated. But at least our uh, right arm is fully healed. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all gonna die from that fire. And there's even more zombies coming for that fire. I like it. It's like seriously the best thing ever for clearing out zombies is burning down a house. I remember doing that very early on with my last character. It's like you can just like cheese some aspects of this game so hard it kind of like breaks it. But I enjoy it. I think I might clear out this road a little bit off camera and then when you guys join back up with us it should be it should be looking better. Um what's up and you guys having a little party in the car there? Yeah, it looks like it. Wait, what's what is that? What tile is that? Is that supposed to be the cufflinks? I'm very confused as to what that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be the cufflinks, but the scale and size of items always messes with me so much with this game. Um, sure. Get the gun with one bullet in it. Are there any other guns? I'm just curious. There usually is. Oh my gosh, there's actually quite a few of them. There's another H and K. Didn't I pick up like a military gun from there? Okay, well at least it's empty. Maybe that was the one that I, I looked at last time, I don't know. There's also another gun right there with full bullets. Anything else? A wingmaster. <laughs> ah. Sure, let's go back to the wingmaster. It's just a cool sounding name. Not gonna lie. I like that. Um and then what's this? It's probably empty though, huh? No, it is not. Okay, we got a ton of little guns. I feel like we're in that Mad Max where they've got like all those guns and like a couple bullets each for them, you know? I love that scene. It's so cool. It's like a very Mad Maxy scene where like, okay, we're about to get into a firefight, but we have to count the bullets. It's like, oh, thank you for having good post-apocalyptic realistic gunfighting. Oh, I love it. Okay, I think I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.